Hey guys, Hi. it's the Claymans here. The next one, okay. The next one. Thank you so very much, Beverly, for okay. your next tip. Yes. Beverly says that if your weight is all over, I'm thinking like the weight, the, when you're pregnant, you gain weight. Please embrace it. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. It happens. Okay. It's, it's good weight. And then they suggest that if you gain weight like mm -hmm. all over your yeah. body, yeah. it's probably a boy. No. I think it's <laughs> Somebody's got boys on the brain, so no worries, baby. From what Be Beverly said, okay, so when you put on weight as a pregnant mama, if your weight goes all over, gives you all a bunch of curves, that is supposedly you're supposed to have a girl. If you mm -hmm. have it mainly all in the belly, then supposedly you're supposed to have a boy. So what do we think? Does this take a demonstration? <laughs> I got curves all over, baby. Where's all my weight? Where's all my weight? <laughs> Uh, so far, should I answer this one so that you don't get in trouble? <laughs> I think so I know, far, it I, it's weird because I definitely have noticed weight go on. I mean, if you guys can probably notice I have a little weight here, a little are weight you on my, that? no, 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 no it, it's not, I'm, I'm saying it, saying I'm weight. saying it what? and now I'm pointing it out. Real? Um, but my Girl, arms, a little bit on, a little bit on my back, a little bit off of my thighs, but I will say most of my Wait, I feel has been in my belly. I feel like has really grown into that. So that one we might have to give credit to. What do you think, boy, girl? When, when supposedly, when you solely or mostly gain in your belly, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a B O Y. So boy. let's get a point for boy up on the board. Up on the board, another boy point. Boy point. Okay. All right, so what's the next one, baby? Another question? Another tip. Michelle, Vanessa, okay. they say, another one about your belly then. Okay. If your belly is high, then you're supposed to have a girl. If mm. your belly is low, then you have a boy. And whenever I post photos on social media, yeah. this is one that people all the time really do say, oh my gosh, you're having a boy because my belly is so low. Yeah. This is really yeah. exciting actually for me as a woman who's lost 100 pounds that I am so used to just keeping it real, like loathing my belly. That was always my problem area. And so now it's been a really beautiful experience watching my belly grow and actually really loving it and loving what I'm seeing. Mm. Typically, I feel like this is a hard one. This is one that might be better later in pregnancy when my the belly is really big and showing. But okay. at this point, I think we can give this point to what? Yeah, definitely a boy. Boy, low, low boy. as they go. Okay, yes. wow. Yeah. Someone to, how do you say that? To keep the uh, the last name alive, to, to... Extend the family name. Extend the family name. Yeah, just claim wow, it. Claiming yeah. it. Claiming Someone it. Someone to extend the family name. Mm, well, so thank you. Roots. So, on our board, we got another boy point. Another boy point. Thank you so very much. This one was a little teensy-weensy bit about the one we did earlier in our video where we swung our wedding rings over my belly. Yes. So this one, you okay. also, instead of your rings, you take a needle and a thread. Thank God I don't have to sew anything. Um, but you hang it over the back of your wrist. Mm -hmm. And same as the other one, if it circles, girl. If it rocks back and forth, back and forth, it's a boy. Hey. Let's try it. Maybe you get yourself a needle and a thread. Should we call your mom? Oh, okay. <laughs> do we have Let's one? Let's just do it. Let's do it. I've got my needle, I've got my thread. I'm very proud to say that I put this actually all together myself. Did you? Oh, well, Shaika. Well, you had to wow. find it. I had no idea where the needle and thread was. Good so. job, babe. <laughs> Here we Turning go. Growing into the mom. Yes, Already. growing into the mom, mominess, the mom zone. So, about ready time for that I knew where this was. Okay, so, again, just a reminder is we're supposed to hold it over the back of our wrist, and depending on which way, if it circles, girl, back and forth, boy. Okay. We ready? So, magical needle, please Tell enlighten us. us. With your moves, are we having a boy? Are we having a girl? Oh. Some rocking left and right, I feel. This one just seems back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. And you guys can see, I am not manipulating it whatsoever. I am staying very yeah, nice steady and hand still. There. 
dirty hand, very dainty hand, I guess. Wow, you never know. Back and forth. Oh, yeah. This is very clear, much more clear than the Walking ring one. Back and forth. That the color is going to be for team, just like the thread is team blue. blue. Hey. Put another one up on the boy board. Boy point. Okay. Thank you so much, Beverly. Yes, yes, yes. A very insightful. Hmm. Exactly. Beautiful. Yes. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. For the last Hold like on. twenty some bit. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Baby. Are you kidding me? What's up? Last week's. Huh? Have you been <laughs> Oh not just you, someone else likes it too though. Okay, my question would be, have you been craving sweets lately? No, not at all. Not at all? Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's, so just, that's not a new pregnancy thing though okay. as opposed to what is that is there another option because i feel like I, I have always liked sweets so yeah or have you been have you had a more a tendency towards sour or salty things or maybe sweeter things where um, okay well this one i'd have to say definitely sweets it's not that i don't like salty sour but i haven't had any of those weird pickle cravings that a lot of women have and i'd have to okay. say sweets so what does that mean then according to Ariel, you, you, you're carrying a girl Ooh, yeah. we have a point for exactly. the girl put it up on the board girl point girl point awesome supposedly Ariel thinks that when you crave more sour and salty things then you're, you're having a boy. You're having a boy. So if that's so maybe you, you're having a boy. then congratulations, man. <laughs> Have yourself a beautiful boy. Mm, yeah. Those things came in through Facebook. Let's go and see what came in through Instagram. Let's do How it. about that? Get beautiful. right into it. All right, beautiful. Another question. Kay. Nicole wants to know, or gave us that tip. I also want to know. Have you been experiencing a lot of acne? Acne, is that what I say? Yes. Zits, okay. pimples, all those things. Mm -hmm. I'd actually have to say no, no, no at all. Say. Like I've been really lucky and fortunate. Okay, then you're having a boy. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. What? If you're having lots of uh, acne, yeah. then uh, supposedly. I, Nicole. yes, a girl. yes, you know what? Cause I do remember finding this one on another list because somebody told me that if you if you have bad skin like acne and blotches when you're pregnant it's a girl because she's stealing your beauty from you but a boy he just leaves you alone and lets you glow get your Are glow you on so i'm so for real but i can also remember that sweet little thai indonesian woman yes one look at you and she said oh you're having a girl yes the way that you're shining and glowing yes that's definitely a girl yes so, so where does what? that go? I know maybe it's a different culture thing. Yeah, she was culture she was from thing. the Philippines. We, she was Asian. She was Asian. And I feel like they Still have is, the I'm most sure. amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She has. They have the most amazing skin, though. I feel, and uh, she was. That's right. Immediately, she was like, "You are beautiful. You are glowing. Your baby girl is giving that all to you." So, for Nicole's sake, we'll give that point to the boy board. But exactly. Time will tell. Now tell me if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can uh, remember mm -hmm. her saying something about armpits oh, or something like that. Yes, what I remember I had to talk that? to you about this. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have ever been pregnant, maybe you've experienced this, people want to give you tips or ask you the most like intimate questions, and I'm just very thankful for my personality. I'm like, bring it, let's do it. You want to yes, feel please, the belly? So this woman, um, we were out to eat at this Thai restaurant, and yeah, she, this woman helping us was Filipino, mm -hmm. and so yes, she was asking us all these things, and she goes, hey, do you have brown skin under your armpits? And for me, I was like, no, I'm good, and, and yep, that's not there, and we kept on talking. Well, Kim's over here like, what, excuse me, what did she ask you? For you guys, um, as I explained for him, as far as I know, yeah. that has to do with hormones, and so if your hormones are oh. balanced, Sometimes it shows a brownish color discoloration underneath your armpits and all your okay. other crevices. So okay. I can happily admit to my husband and to all of you watching that mm -hmm. I do not have that. 
Um, but according Another to her, that that's, it's a that it's a girl, I guess. Yeah. If you had a boy, if you're having brown spots, maybe go see your doctor, but you may also be having a boy. Maybe. Yes. Did you check the Chinese calendar? I actually did, but I would love to show you guys what I had to go through right here on the screen. Right here. So, as you guys will see, first the Chinese predictor calendar, you have to put in your birth date, so the mama's birth date, and the date of conception. So, I'll be honest, we love loving each other, so we weren't exactly <laughs> sure what the conception date is. Sorry, Oops, Dad, this is where you can turn down the volume. Uh, so I had to go back, do a little bit of figuring out, and mm -hmm. so we found out our around conception date. And then you put this in a computer, or like in this Chinese predictor thing, and then they compute it for you. And according to the Chinese calendar predictor, we are having a little girl. Whoa! Kleiner yes, Nisha. please. So, another point for pink. There you go. Another point for pink. Put it up there. Girl point. <laughs> and now. And also, yes. talks about your dreams, baby. Have you been having more dreams recently? Well, you so can probably dreams. tell. You can probably tell people about this one. Um, okay. I have really only had a dream about one gender. Do you remember which one I had a dream oh about? <laughs> do you remember? You had a fifty-fifty. <laughs> you do. <laughs> On Someone's this one. having daddy brain. Yeah. Well, I'll refresh your memory. I fart. told you one time that I did dream that we had a little girl. You did? Yes, and you it did. really surprised me because I've always wanted a little boy first. Yeah? Always. So when I woke up from that dream, I was like, I well, isn't that funny? So. Yeah, and yes. ever since that dream, I feel you've been kind of more like embracing the thought of having your little own sweet little. Yeah. Shack, yeah. Yes. Whip, yeah. Yes. Okay, Janine, the dreams. If you dream of a girl, of your baby, then we will have a girl. Point to the girl board.